like all the messengers of God, they were teaching people how to worship God, then we agree. But if you say, Lord divine, not at all. Exactly. Now tell us, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son that whoever believeth in him shall have eternal life. The preacher's up on a podium. They're saying, look, look, look. And they're given this verse. What do you have to say? Well, um, first of all, begotten does not appear in all versions. No. Uh, some manuscripts delete the, the word begotten. Mm -hmm. uh, entirely. Um, I think we have to look contextually. You know, throughout the Bible, we see all sorts of people being referred to as son of God or child of God. Yeah. You know, um, David is referred to as son of God. Uh, Ephraim, uh, son of Joseph, peace be upon him referred to as a child of God, etc. But we have numerous people throughout the Old Testament being referred to as son of God. The Israelite people as a whole referred to as the children of God. Basically, when you said someone was the son of God or the child of God, within the context of first century Palestine, you are basically saying there is a very pious and righteous man. Mm -hmm. And that's all you were saying. That's it. Yeah. That's in the context, yeah. historically. I think now, psychologically, uh, if we look at this from another totally different mm -hmm. perspective, mm -hmm. people attach themselves to, to, to Jesus, mm -hmm. and we love him. Oh, yes. And no Muslim, as I said earlier, is a Muslim unless he believes in Jesus. But people just wanting so much to believe this. They've been taught this. This has been instilled in them, and they develop you know, this relationship they feel with Jesus, and now they're deducing this verse, and no matter if we go on for another two hours or a day, and we'll hopefully for the sincere person, by now he's, he's got it, but the other person just holding on so tight to this, psychologically is there, you know, uh, from another perspective, why do you think people do this? Well, yeah, one, one thing that happens is how the Bible is translated. Yeah. You know, if you look in the New, most versions of the Bible, you look in the New Testament, if it's referring to Jesus, the Son of God, like in the verse that we quoted earlier, you know, they put a capital S on Son. That capital S isn't in the Greek. Yeah. You know, that's something the translator's sticking in to make sure you interpret the passage a certain way. Yeah. But that's not actually in the Bible. Mm -hmm. You know, the Greek doesn't have capital lowercase distinctions. Yeah. What I'm thinking, look at this. You know, when you, you formed God into your mind and your life around that, now you've gotten comfortable. Mm -hmm. You're making your own way. You're doing your own thing. And this now, you got the J.C. Gold card. You get to throw everything on his back, which now, you know, it, it, it alleviates some of maybe the, the, set, the, the, the responsibility that you're supposed to have, you know, and, and you don't want to change your ways. I'm not going to get into nobody's heart, but you can see, like, somehow where, you know, this is convenient now. I mm -hmm. can do my own thing. You know, mm -hmm. God, I made him into my mind how I feel that he should be, mm -hmm. and now I'm stuck on that. Can this be possibly something... That's going on? Well, yeah, and, and there's, there's certainly that. There's also the aspect that, you know, um, there's this sense of assurance. Assurance, that's it. That uh, 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 Trinitarian Christianity offers. You know, if, if you believe in Jesus as the Son of God and accept the sacrifice he allegedly made for you on the mm -hmm. cross, then you are assured of salvation. Yes. It doesn't matter what else. Yeah. You know, you've got it made. This is your get out of hell card free, yeah. to use in a paraphrase for Monopoly. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Islam doesn't offer that level of assurance. No. You know, uh, because Islam says, look, you have to watch how you live your life. Mm -hmm. You have to believe correctly that there's only one God. One God. And worship that one God. But you have to live your life correctly. Yes. You cannot sin against God. You cannot sin against your fellow man. Yes. You know, you have to live correctly. This is all going to fit onto a scale on the day of judgment. Now, fortunately for all of us, God's mercy is also going to enter into that mm -hmm. equation. Otherwise, there'd be a lot of us in a lot of very bad shape. Yes. But uh, there is still this issue of accountability mm -hmm. for one's life that's there in Islam. Definitely. And so the question... Can we say that it's been answered, liar, lunatic, or Lord? None of the above. None of the above. Yeah. But what? Mighty messenger of God? Mighty say? messenger of God, etc. You had mentioned before, you know, teacher, master, etc. The et Messiah? Um, 
let, let me complete my thought and I'll get back to Messiah. Yeah. Uh, teacher, master, etc. It's interesting to see what that word actually is in the yeah. text. You know, and it's, it's basically rabbi. Rabbi, teacher, yeah. rabbi. Yeah. yeah. You know, Jesus is being referred to as rabbi. Yeah. Uh, now, in terms of Messiah. Messiah, which means Christ also. Well, Christ is the Greek, Greek. Uh, version of the Hebrew word Mashiach, yeah. or which we say Messiah. So we believe he was the Messiah? Yeah, yeah, of course. The Quran tells us he's the Christ. The uh, word of God? Yeah, he's, he's the word of God, but in the word of God in the sense that we're told in the Quran that uh, in the miraculous creation of the virgin birth, God says, be... And, and it, it is. is. Done. Jesus is created in the, yeah. in the, the womb of Mary. Yes. Yeah. We're out of time. Uh, people, if they want to invite you to do a yeah. lecture, to, uh, you know, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, they can contact me at uh, dirksonlinebooks.com. Thank you once again for being with us here on the My show. pleasure, brother.